cancers. Checking the love energy. Thank you all for everything. The energy could be masculine or feminine. Take the where to go. And only take what resonates for you, please. Maybe looking for a job. Someone may be someone that's in a hiring position, maybe hiring people as well that may be job hunting. There may be gossip going on, some secrets coming out, some confessions, something going on around someone. Something going on with some music or something having to do with music. Someone may be a performer or musician. Um, someone may like to go to concerts. Someone may be a DJ, club club promoter. Um, someone may like to have parties or music events. Something may be going on with a contract regarding said partying or, or performing. Someone also may be trying to buy a home having to sign some sort of contract for something, some sort of uh, um, business thing. Someone has been being in, <clears throat> in, yeah, someone has been in a situation where they're not being honest and not being true to someone. They're just basically, I have the infidelity card, but what I'm feeling, I'm sorry, I couldn't get it out. Is that, yeah, someone is just not being on the up and up. They're not being loyal. I feel loyalty. Some of this could be a relationship too, but I'm really feeling loyalty. Right? Spirituality. Someone's curious about spirituality. Uh, maybe doing yoga. Uh, maybe trying to ground themselves. Maybe getting uh, tarot card readings or watching them. Some of you are out here doing something with a music event or something of that nature. Be wary of the contract, please. Because someone around you is not loyal. That's really, really what I'm feeling. And for some of you, this job hunting may be you trying to find another gig for some of you. Not a nine to five, like I'm a I work at a CVS type shit, but trying to find gigs musically, trying to find performances. Something may not be working out. And there may be people that are gossiping about that and some secrets too. Someone here may be a tarot card reader. Someone's trying to manifest some, some uh, new things into their life. Trying to transmute some energy in their favor with spirit of alchemy I have spirit of skulls depression illness melancholy all right maybe getting a someone may be in their feelings about something um, about someone moving a little oddly may have had fantasies in in you know of being stuck and stagnant in some way. You may have had some, some dreams going on too. Um, sometimes this can be a dream card for me with this fairy. Um, some of you may may have may have thoughts of feeling frozen where you can't move, where you're you're trying to do something that's not happening. For some of you, um, someone is longing for you in a relationship where um, the relationship is stuck and stagnant. Nothing's happening, right? Because someone here uh, was dealing with their passions, okay? This could be you as well, um, feeling like something may delay you 
or, or you may be frozen with something where you find passion in. It could be something that you have a creative spark in. But someone around you, like I said, maybe moving a little bit greasy with this uh, Spirit of the Fox card. Sly, cunning, strategy, right? And you're going to need to speak up for yourself. You may need to defend yourself with the Spirit of Lightning. You're going to need to open your mouth physically and uh, stand in your power, show your strength, and express yourself. Some of you may have done this already. Some of you sense that someone around you is moving real, real greasy and you may have had to stand up for yourself. Take it how it resonates only, please. Okay. Yeah, I have the Nine of Swords. I have the King of Swords. And I have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, you guys. We had a little bit of fear, anxiety. It was going nuts over situation. Person, place, a thing. Okay. With this Nine of Swords card. Gemini energy. This is worry. You guys were having nightmares. Told you that this could be dreams as well. So thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. You feeling stuck and stagnant, meaning you're not able to go forward. Okay. If you guys were not the ones trying to transmute the energy, someone that was trying to transmute the energy got some bad news about it. Somebody put them in their place. Now that person may be the one that's feeling depressed and the melancholy. King of Swords. This is Taurus Gemini energy. This is someone that feels, feels the need that, you know what, I, I, I need to be in authority. Excuse me, I don't know why I said that. This is King of Swords, not Knight of Swords. <laughs> but anyway, be mindful of a Taurus or Gemini around you. But this is Capricorn Aries. I'm sorry. I'm tired, y'all. King of Swords is Capricorn Aries. Maybe an Earth sign. Maybe an Air sign. Maybe somebody has that in their chart. This is someone that likes to be in control. This is someone that um, is, you know, communicates clear thinking. Someone could be methodical, a little detached though. Someone may work in law enforcement. Someone may be like uh, security or feel like they have to protect other people. Someone commands respect. Someone could try and make head over heart decisions too. Someone's wise with this owl. Have the ace of pentacles. This is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, energy, or signs. This is a new job, a career, a business. This is you or your person or your cross watcher focusing on the new. Prosperity, good finances, new beginnings, trying to be successful. You're taking the first step towards where you want to be, you know, taking um, baby steps, but gradual steps, right? Making sure that you're trying to get out of the stuck and stagnant phase of your life. Some of you could be getting divine gifts as well. Or opportunities may be coming towards you. Give me one card for um, Nine of Swords. High Priestess, yep, you guys, we're in your head over something that your intuition was trying to alert you to. Virgo energy, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. Something that you felt but you didn't see. Trust in the universe and your higher self. Congratulations. Keep paying attention to your dreams and synchronicities. Some of you men, 
out here may be infatuated with a woman that is not available to you emotionally. She may only be available to you sexually. And for some of the women out here, you may be uh, wanted by a lot of men right now. People may be seeking you out for good sex. They feel like, you know, someone that they can learn from, someone that they can lean on. Okay? You need to connect with your higher voice. You may be getting psychic development uh, skills too from the divine. King of Swords. Yeah, I have the Eight of Wands. This is something happening right now, or will be happening. This is Sagittarian energy, but it's going to be fast, you know. And maybe you guys, if this is not you making the changes in your life, this is you deciding or someone around you decided that they're going to make some changes. They're going to do some things. But but I do feel like this is you, Cancer. You're moving quickly towards your Ace of Pentacles, towards your new beginning. Doing what you need to do to go forward. To stay on track. Yeah, it may be a little bit hasty. And yeah, you may be bumping a few people along the way. Even though, because you're not in a relationship right now. But, you know, you're sort of obsessed right now with making it, and that's a good thing. Keep that energy within yourself. Some of you may be traveling soon. You may meet someone while you're traveling as well. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Yep, this is you moving out of that cold-ass, choppy water out of those emotions, out of the uncertainty, out of the despair that you've been sitting in all this time. This is you moving forward to something better, to something calmer, to some sort of new horizon, right? This is you packing up your shit and saying, you know what, I'm done, done. I'm so done, okay, right? I'm over it <laughs> for some of you. Six of Swords is Aquarian energy. This is mental healing. This is making progress. This is overcoming the hardship, the uncertainty, the negativity of someone or something. You guys are moving forward and you're learning your life's, le life's lessons. Somebody here may be running away from a person as well. Take it how it resonates for you. But um, overall, I feel like this is lessons learned. Okay? I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care. Uh -huh.